Well, Blake Fitzpatrick continues to enjoy a fabulous career in harness racing and also now he has switched his attention once again to training gallopers. I caught up with Blake before his commitments at Clubman Angle today. Well, Blake, as I mentioned, you've had a diverse career in harness racing and also the gallops and I believe you're back in action as a galloper after a four or five year absence from that particular scene. Yeah, that's right, Mick. I decided to renew my licence at the end of this season and uh, we've got three in work at the moment. So, yeah, hopefully we can win a couple of races. Blake, how do you find that? Because you're a hands-on man as far as training harness horses are concerned. Then with the gallopers, you're putting on a jockey and you just don't get that same feel. Does that frustrate you at times? It's an unusual feeling, definitely. Race day, legging someone else on, but um, something I have to get used to, obviously. But, yeah, as far as the breed, they're totally different and take totally different types of work. But, yeah, it's something we enjoy. I noticed just a couple of weeks ago, another harness racing identity turned galloping trainer James Ponsby had a few runners. Yeah, I think he's doing it full time now and um, he had a successful career in harness racing and yeah, hopefully he can do the same in the thoroughbred industry. We'll talk about having successful careers, but you certainly have had a successful career, multi-premiership titles. Yeah, I was fortunate in my early days starting off, I had Dad stable behind me and Dad was flying at the time and had a really good team of horses, so myself, Gavin and Cameron it gave us a really good kick start to our driving career and yeah, I think I won a couple of Harold Park premierships and junior driver premierships and, yeah, something I'll never forget. At that particular stage, Blake, the Fitzpatrick stable was the stable. Your father, Paul, at the helm, and as you said, the three brothers as well. We're seeing a similar reign now with Craig Cross and the McCarthy family. Yeah, absolutely. It happens in racing and um, stables have good runs and it can go on for a number of years. But, yeah, you see it in both codes and... At the moment, Luke's got such a strong team behind him, he'll, he'll probably dominate for a while, I'd say. What was the experience like driving overseas in France? It was unbelievable. I drove at a track called Vincennes, and it's quite an unusual track. It's undulating and three or four different turns, and, yeah, quite a unique experience. And, yeah, to drive in a race there, um, I was very fortunate to pick the drive up, thanks to Pat Driscoll, but, yeah, something I'll never forget. What was the difference between driving in France and driving here, Blake? Uh, it's definitely more truly run in France. They race over longer distances, but they go flat out the whole way. It's a real staying test. And, yeah, it's definitely... They race in the shorter shorter sulkies, similar to America, and different, completely different the way they train and drive in France. You just mentioned Pat Driscoll with the engagement there at Vincennes. Now, you trained a horse called Vincennes, no doubt named after that particular place. And, of course, Pat Driscoll behind the Yabby Dam Fum organisation which has been so good to you and you've been so good for them. Yeah absolutely Pat supported us for a number of years and supported trotting in New South Wales here and really gave it the kickstart that it needed. Uh, Pat's revolutionised the breeding in the trotting industry and he's imported a number of French bred stallions and they've really improved our breed and I think you'll see the benefits from it in the next four, five, ten years. So. And you've enjoyed a lot of success with the Trotters, Blake. What percentage now is Trotters to Pacers as far as your stable is concerned? Oh, the Trotters are getting up there. We've got at least a third of our stable's Trotters, maybe more. So we really enjoy the young ones and uh, we've had uh, some really good seasons with our young Trotters and hope they can progress, progress through through the grades. Let's see how some of those Trotters may go on Saturday night, Blake. But before we get to that particular event, the Group 2 Franco Trotters in the third event. You've got number 10, We Salute You. Won three stars ago in good style and hasn't had much luck go his way since. No, he hasn't, Mick. He's been racing well, but without luck, as you said. So, drawn poorly again on Saturday night. But if he can get the right trip, he'll definitely be finishing off. You're offside with someone because you've got the outside gate again in race five with a rock and roll swinger. Yeah, she's. we've thrown her in the deep end here in a metro race here at Menangle, but she's another one that's improve with every run we've given her this prep and drawn poorly but not without a chance. Let's go over to race six now for the uh, Trotters Blake and you've got more shades of gold, six stars from behind the strand for a win and five placings. Yeah it's definitely his ideal conditions and the horse is really consistent. Uh, I can see him running a really good race Saturday, he flies the stands and probably be the leader at, at some point, he'll take a lot of running down. Now Adele has, certainly has got plenty of talent but the stand start how do you see that, Blake? Three starts for a win and two unplaced efforts. Yeah, it's a little bit unknown. She's a little bit hit or miss. I think she's a mare with a lot of talent and will go a long way. If she steps away, she's 
probably the horse to beat, but yeah, it'll be heart in your mouth for the first 100 metres. Yeah, it could be a bit messy there with so many horses on the front line. It'll be very congested and yeah, which isn't ideal, but we've given her a lot of practice at home and the way she's been at home, I'm confident she will step. Peter Hansen's got Mac Da Vinci going extremely well. Good effort here again last week behind Perfect Stride. Yeah, he's a smart three-year-old. He's had a long year. He's been all over the country, but he's racing probably better than ever. So it's a credit to Peter and the horse. And in another good three-year-old race, he's still a definite chance from the draw. The Blake Fitzpatrick special? Uh, I'll stick with Adele. She's pretty smart, so stick with her. Good luck, Blake, and thanks for your time on Club and Angle TV. Thank you.